Check out that blood blister. Don't be a dumbass like me. Wear your personal protective equipment. Gloves, safety glasses, shields, ear protection. Just put it on, man. <sighs> Everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to keep moving right along with this Dotson build and we are ready to cut the floor out but first we're going to weld in a little bracing inside of here. Now inside the cab we want to come in with it like an x-shaped brace. We're going to start over there and bring it over here to this corner and then we'll do that same thing over there. Start over there and bring it over to this corner and make an x-shape which will hold everything nice and rigid because the more we trim out of here, this thing's gonna get all floppy and crazy and it'll lose its shape. And then next thing you know, your door gaps and your fenders, nothing's gonna line up right. So that ought to hold it together for us. Okay, now that we got our bracing in, we can start back with our cutting. I feel pretty confident nothing's gonna move around on us now. This shape will stay the same. So now we're gonna get in here and cut the rest of this out and remove the floor as well. All right, so I've got as much cut out as I'm gonna cut out at this point. I'm pretty, set, I'm pretty convinced that we're gonna end up having to cut all of this out, all the way up to here like we had talked about before, but we're not gonna cut anything else until it comes time to start fitting all this together. Like I said before, we wanna sneak up on this, so we don't wanna cut out too much and then have to go back and fill a bunch of stuff in. We wanna wait and do our final adjustments, I guess, if you will when it comes time to fit everything together. But for now, we could go ahead and get the floor out of the way. And uh, once that's done, we're gonna get this out of here and we're gonna bring in the Nissan hard body and start getting rid of some things on it that's gotta go. It's got all kinds of stuff on it that's gotta be taken off, out of the way, trimmed up, you name it. So we'll get on that next, but first, let's get this floor out of here.
All right, so I've cut as much out of that Dotson cab that I'm comfortable with cutting. I don't want to keep going any further and then find out I've cut too much. So that's kind of how this whole project is going to go. We're going to cut a little bit at a time, kind of sneak up on it, so to speak. So we got the, uh, the Nissan hard body back in here, what's left of it. What we're going to do now is we're going to get in here and just start removing some of this stuff. There's a lot of stuff in the way that we probably won't even reuse, like this goofy thing here. That's out of here. We're not going to reuse that. A lot of smog crap all in here. It's out of here. We're going to get rid of it. We're going to do this just like we did on the Datsun, where we came in and we cut it right here where the aprons and the skirts, everything meets up with the firewall. We're going to just hack that right off just like we did over there. We're going to get rid of the uh, radiator support. It's out of here. We're not going to reuse any of that. All that's going to be left on the front end of this truck will be the, the radiator and the condenser itself. And then we will use the radiator support off of the Datsun. Same thing as before. We're not using any of this stuff. It's out of here. We're going to get rid of it. It's going to be in the way. And what I would like to do first, we'll get into this in just a little bit, in a little more detail. I want to remove this. This whole thing needs to go. A lot of the stuff on the firewall needs to be moved out of the way so we could cut down. We need to cut all the way down to there. That's where we're going with it. So let's get started on it. Got a lot of things to uh, remove. All right, so this is my plan right here. I'm just kind of getting everything undone from the firewall. You can see everything's got a little bit of play in it, especially like the AC lines. But what I want to do is I'm just going to kind of tweak these back just a little bit just to get them out of the way. I'm going back through putting all my nuts and bolts back in so we can reuse them later if we need to. And But for now, we're just kind of getting all this back away from the firewall. Okay, this is exactly what we wanted right here. Went ahead and pulled the hinges out of the way. Now look, we got us a nice clean area to work. Nothing's in the way. Some of you guys are gonna get onto me for pulling on these brake lines, but trust me, they had a lot of wiggle room. I just kind of tied them over out of the way, right along with the AC line. Everything's still cool. Nothing's gonna leak, it'll be fine. Now we got down to where we could cut. This is where we wanna go to right here. We want all of this gone out of the way. And then our new cab is gonna come in here and it's gonna kinda of sit right down. And this should give us enough room. If not, we'll cut down even lower. We'll do whatever we gotta do, to make this fit. But it's gonna be all done in layers, one step at a time. And uh, before we start cutting that out, let's go ahead and get some of this other junk out of the way that we talked about earlier. And we'll just keep going and stripping down everything we don't need and stuff that we just want gone out of the way so we could cut this off of here and get rid of this radiator support. So hey, we're moving right along, check it out. That has opened up a lot of space. There's a big difference from what it had before. In fact, there's the pile of crap we just took out of it. So we're just gonna continue right along. We're gonna start going across the front here, 
get this radiator, this condenser. Basically, I want this whole support out of here, and I just want that radiator condenser to be the only thing left right there. And we'll go on around here, and we'll start on this side. We'll take out everything we don't need. Everything else will just kind of get laid over to the side. But we're going to open up this area, too. I'm ready. Are you ready? Just watch out for those wires. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we've managed to get rid of all that unnecessary sheet metal. It's gone, it's out of the way. Look, we didn't even bust the damned AC 
look, it's still all intact. This thing will still blow cold air right now. <laughs> now, of course, we'll have to undo it later when we go to fit everything else back together, but whatever. For now, everything's still intact. This thing will still start. Guarantee you hook a battery to it, it'll still fire right up. We haven't disconnected anything yet as far as things that'll make it run. So uh, anyway, now that we've got everything out of the way, we're gonna come in and we're gonna knock this thing out of here like we had talked about before. We're gonna get it down to this other layer. Get rid of this, because this is definitely not necessary. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, what I'm doing is I'm going through here and just kind of dressing up this, this left behind. And if you notice, you'll see a spot, spot, all these, those are your spot welds. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go ahead and separate that. And once that's off, we will be officially down to this panel here. This is what we're wanting. As far as this goes here, we may have to trim this down some more, but we won't know until we start fitting that cab out there. So we'll leave this for now. But we'll go ahead and prep this area, get this little strip of metal out of the way. All right, now that I got the welds ground down, we can come in and knock that off the top of there. Kind of cleans it up a little bit. I guess technically you could leave that if you wanted to, but... Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going... <laughs> you need to get back. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my die grinder. I'm going through here and I'm grinding out all those little spot welds. You just want to grind through the top layer like that and it'll just come right off. All right, you guys, I think that's going to get it on this one. Uh, I think we got some pretty good progress going, man. We got this uh, hard body all trimmed up. Now, I know we'll have to do some more trimming as we go. Like I said earlier, we'll probably have to cut this down. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. We'll know more when we fit that other cab over on here. It has to slip down right on top of this, and uh, we'll just keep trimming until it fits. But uh, look, we made a whole nother pile today. We're moving right along with this build. Having a lot of fun with it so far. You can't complain. This thing will still start and run. We'll actually, we'll probably show that on the next one. But uh, next time we'll get in here, we'll uh, get the seat out of the way. We're gonna have to trim up the floor a little bit more and I'm pretty sure that shifter's gonna have to get moved or I'm gonna have to do something different with my bracing inside of the um, K 
cab. I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you watched the last episode, you'll know that I actually trimmed up some braces and welded them in, and I think they're gonna be in the way. So I don't know, we may have to move some stuff around. We'll see though, we'll figure it out. Man, there's no there's no playbook on this. There's no, there's no manual, there's no nothing. You just fly by the seat of your pants and you just figure it out as you go. And you know, there might be times when we have to backtrack, but hey, whatever, it'll all get done in the end. But uh, please like, share, subscribe this video, all that good stuff. I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I know the sound quality. We're having issues with our sound and we've got it narrowed down. It's the camera. We're gonna have to replace it. But um, hey, you guys, man, y'all help us out. We appreciate it, man. You guys help us by watching the videos, sharing the videos, liking the videos, commenting, all that good stuff and we really do appreciate it and it will help us take this channel to the next level and keep progressing along so uh please do all that we'll appreciate it and we will get us another camera soon i promise but bear with me until then that's why i don't really talk a lot i just put music in there and it seems to work out okay so whatever we'll uh we'll, we'll get it figured out but anyway see you guys next time don't forget my instagram see you guys later